G'day game, it's Wobbot here at Filthy Wobbot 74 with some 32 to 16 gameplay here using the Peacekeeper, Rapid Fire, Stock, and Elo site and Quick Draw. Um, <clears throat> this video. Now, if you follow me on Facebook, I probably would have said this is probably going to be my most honest commentary yet. Yeah, let's not be so dramatic. I was a little bit emotional yesterday. Let's just go straight to the point. This is going to be the appreciate, the most appreciative video I've ever done. How can I put it? So I had to get a kill there. Beeps, I just want to... Ref I've re had a lot of reflection of late, particularly about this channel, and particularly why I do YouTube, and more importantly, you know, the appreciation I have of my subscribers, let alone the people I've met in the gaming community and the friends I've met in the gaming community, from where it's in Australia, all overseas, far and abroad. And <clears throat> I don't know, I think I get gamers more than most other people, but the, the people I've met by doing YouTube and uh, let's just start off with Perfidy or you know New Zealand Killer Beast and Chi they're two people I met straight off the bat from doing Gears of War 3 and Halo and so forth two great friends I haven't heard much of Chi I don't know what's happened to him but uh, Perfidy's been traveling the globe I understand and he's coming back for Gears of War 5 not particularly for Gears of War 5 but you know what I'm saying and they're two people I've met to the other people like Josty Elder Succubus, you know, who I still talk to. He's not on Facebook anymore, and we send text messages here and there. And we've developed a good friendship, you know. We might disagree on certain things here and there, but we've developed a great friendship. And uh, I said to him the other night, one of the biggest achievements I've done from YouTube and in the Gears of War community was gaining his respect when it came to Gears of War and YouTube. And Perfidy, and Chi, Baz, and all those people. But then moving on to RGM and meeting people like the lovely Bella Rise, who... You know, he's a mother now, and I hardly get to speak to, and I should speak to, and do more, and catch up in that way. To the many friends here, Jaff, Jafar, the Art of Horror, all these people, Stubbs, Warstew, all these people met on YouTube and through Twitter and so forth. And I just want to say thank you. I just want to say thank you for the people far and abroad to, you know, I mean, there is a lady I met on, uh, believe it or not, from the Titanfall page, which I'm an admin on, and the people I met from there, the fellow admins. But uh, she started up her own page, which is not really, um, it pretty much lets your hair down and, you know, has the memes which aren't really adult-like and so forth. And uh, her page and the friendship of meeting her and the, the, yeah, look, basically the title of the page is Happiness is Snorting Cocaine Off a Hooker's Ass. That is the title of the Facebook page. <clears throat> Only select Twist of You can join that crew and uh, I'm one of them. And I have to say, when you're feeling down, I jump on that page and I found myself <laughs> regular tears, regular tears of laughter, I should say, not joy. And these are the people and the gamers I've met in the gaming community. And people ask me, how am I going to keep on doing YouTube for, Whitebot? I mean, you're going to be doing YouTube for a long time? Yeah, I am. And let me talk to you about this in this reflection video, as the title says. Yes, yeah, so I just thought of the title then, people, reflection. You know, many, many moons ago, Whitebot was a bit of a loose cannon. Didn't plan to leave past 30, didn't want anybody to get close to him, partied hard, raged like there's no tomorrow, drank, clubbed, you name it. Blew my brains out for many years, never thought I'd be travelling overseas. And uh, met various people, lost various people on the way. Had some, you know, close calls, not so close calls. Met people from all walks of life. And there was one of them who, let's face it, we can't really hang out anymore because, you know, well, there's the legal aspect and so forth. And, you know, he chose his path, but he said to me, and he's a lot younger, and I respect him a hell of a lot, and he said to me, why bot? Why bot, mate? You're into video gaming. I went, yeah, yeah. I watched this thing on YouTube the other day. And he said to me, you know, why bot? Uh, you should, you'd be good at that. Why don't you do it? It's a hobby to keep you out of trouble. And I said, yeah, oh, you know. And he goes, you wouldn't do it for the money, man. Like, yeah, I don't think it'd be, you made that make, make that much money here in Australia, but do it for fun, trial it out. It's a hobby to keep you out of trouble because you're bored here and you're causing trouble. You're not good with money, you're not good with this. You have not matured in certain areas. And these are the conversations to have with this guy, and guess what? He talked me into doing a YouTube channel. And here I am today. Six years, I think it is always coming to six years. I can't remember now, I lose track. But I look at how I started out with no thumbnails, no webcam, no music to my videos, no great quality. Gameplay wasn't the best, but the topics were good at hand, and people like to hear the talking shit with the game. To the extent now it's totally changed, my channel took a bit of a bit of a dive when the Gears of War died out, but I'm hoping we'll come back with Gears of War 5. But I'm thinking of getting NBN seeing people and getting to the streaming. And that's a big step for the good old Wybot. And to answer the question, will I keep on doing YouTube? Yeah, this is like my, I can say like my my photo folder. You could say like it's you know, my collage in the history. I mean, God forbid if anything happened to me 
tomorrow, my family and friends can see me permanently on the internet, whether they like it or not. <laughs> but they can hear me commentary and remember the fine times. I mean, I've got over a thousand videos, man, on here. But this is the reflection video, people. Reflection of the friends I've met, the friends I've lost, the challenges I've faced, putting myself out there, and a hobby that's kept me out of trouble. It really has. And, you know, I just want to say thank you for all that stuck by me. Thank you for all the constructive criticism. Thank you for all the love, the harsh comments, the advice, the tips. Even to thank you to Schneebly for, you know, making me stand my ground and speaking for and gaining respect from the Gears community here in Australia by doing that. And will I stop gaming? Will I stop doing YouTube? As immature as it sounds, no. This is the hobby that's kept me out of trouble and will continue to keep me out of trouble for so long. And I love I've got the webcam, I love I've got the monitor, and it's about time I set up and try and follow my dream. My dream is to become streaming. My dream is to get a thousand subs. Dreams to get even 20 followers on Twitch or even YouTube streaming and go from there and learning that. That is my dream. Get fitter, yada, yada, yada. But that's it. That's what I want to do. And it's tough, people, because people look at you and think you're strange, man. People think you're, you know, you're a bit of a dropkick and a loser. And I sometimes think I am that way. I don't have that much confidence, people. I feel that sometimes I am a big loser. I am a kind of guy that's, you know, moved back with his parents and is not really moved out but traveled the world, you know, had beautiful women in his life. And am I such a loser? I mean, people look at me and go, yep, as Steve would say, you're a 35-year-old whatever virgin. Hey, he's probably right. I'm not a virgin, but, you know. Am I much of a loser because I enjoy doing what I'm doing? And is it bad for my health? No, it's a positive thing. It's keep me away from going out and just causing hoopla. So this game, things weren't going great for me over the weekend. There's something in the back of my mind. I'm not going to share. I'm not going to share what happened, but uh, those of you close to you know what happened. And it was like, we're losing it. I was just thought to myself, I'm a loser. Why would you? <laughs> you are a loser. You are like the Aussie version of Wings of Redemption. Um, I should be called the bitter suspension. I don't know what you would refer to me, but I'm not a loser. And, and I don't know. I'm just having a reflection of all the friends I met. And I changed my Facebook profile page. And the people just came out of the woodwork saying, yeah, well, but why don't you join a clan and do more Division 2 and stuff like that? And I'm like... Yeah, man, when we get back into that, you know, people can help out. And it's just like, wow, you know, Theodore, a guy from all the way over in Europe just said, yeah, get on PC. And I just thought, well, I'm not a loser. I think an amazing shot like that, people. Look at that. That was just random boomer shot in the air. I enjoy what I do. This is giving me strength and courage. And I'm just reflecting. I just want to say thank to you, whoever you, all of you who have liked, disliked, subbed, unsubbed commented, not commented, sent me your hurtful messages. Thank you to all of you. All of you have made this possible, and all of you made me realize and reflect what I have and what I've earned from doing this. And will I ever stop it? Not unless I get rid of YouTube or I get banned, or I get tired and get bored with it, which is a long way off, people. Long way off. There are some great games coming out. Cyberpunk. Division 2, like I said, it's got to finish that. The next Doom is going to go off like two frogs and half a sock. And of course, you know, just mentioned today, Gears War 5 is on 60 hertz servers. And there's things that they've tuned the Nasher. So if they don't region lock it, Gears of War 5 could come back and be a multiplayer success. Could be. Fingers crossed as I drop the good old, good old Tara gun. And look, we come back and win this game. And there's a 32 to 16. And I, I, I just, you know, I thought with the music in the background, what a great way to start the reflection. So the next video you're going to see is just playing a random Gears of War 4. Basically... We did all right in that game. I went nuts. I didn't get MVP, I don't think. But you got to see, and it's just talking with a random guy and bringing back to what Gears of War was for me. And, and the happiest time in my life, I'm not going to lie, people, as this replay totally stuffs up, thanks to Black Ops 4, the biggest, the, the, one of the happiest parts of my life was doing YouTube and Gears of War 3. I want those days back. I want that fun back. I want that where people think, where are you going, Wobble? I'm saying I'm going back to my community of gamers. And, uh, just want to say thanks again and thanks for putting up with me and I hope you watch this video right to the end and enjoy me talking about my reflections and as I just put the title there. Boy, took me a while to think of that title. It's a Monday night here. You'll see this on Tuesday night. More videos for me to come from, you know, more videos from my channel here and there. A mixture of video games. I'm going to mix it up a bit. But Gears of War 4 will be on it. I'll be doing the grind. Does anybody know when the beta is coming up for Gears of War 5? I'd love to do that. I've always done a beta. did a beta for Gears of War 4. That was fun. That was with, you know, Perfidy and Elder Succubus. I want those days back. Man, I crave those days. As you can see, people rage quitted because they thought they were going to win and they lost. Why about signing out? 
and I'll catch you mofos in the next video. Be good to your loved ones. Always keep it positive. And I'll catch you mofos on the battlefield. Oh, 32 and 16. Not bad for an old noob.